Manly Warringah Sea Eagles suffered an 18-12 loss to Newcastle Knights at Lotto Land tonight in Round 8 of the Telstra Premiership. The Sea Eagles have now lost their past four matches to remain on four competition points. To make matters worse, the heavy injury at Manly grew when 5-8th Lachlan Croker left the ground in the 31st minute with a serious knee injury. Sands will determine the full extent of the injury. The Sea Eagles are already without Curtis Sir Ronan, neat season, Kalepi Tanjanoa, neat season, Jorge Taufua, collarbone, road 12, and Brad Parker, neat road 12 to 14. In front of a crowd of 5,715, Newcastle opened the scoring in the 17th minute when the bunker ruled 5 8th Connor Watson grounded the ball despite a great attempt by opposite number Lachlan Croker and trying to hold him up over the line. Kencio failed to convert the try for a 4 0 lead. The Sea Eagles drew level in the 25th minute when center Dylan Walker beat winger Nathan Ross to the ball to score from a great kick into open space by hooker API Cora Isau. Halfback and captain Daly Cherry Evans converted for a 6-4 lead. Three minutes later, Cherry Evans was denied a try when the bunker ruled forward Sean Lane obstructed second rower Lachlan Fitzgibbon from making a tackle. The Sea Eagles then lost 5-8th Lachlan Croker with a left knee injury in the 31st minute. He did not return for the game as did winger Matthew Wright, concussion. Nice short pass from Cherry Evans saw Lane fall over the line to score in the 43rd minute for a 10-4 lead. Cherry Evans failed to convert the try. The Knights then hit back when hooker Slade Griffin scored next to the posts. Seo converted to make it 10 all after 60 minutes. Five minutes later, the Knights took a 12-10 lead when Seo converted a penalty goal next to the posts after hooker API Cora Isau was penalized for holding too long in a tackle. Cherry Evans leveled the scores in the 70th minute with a penalty goal. The Knights regained the lead when Ponga sent winger Nathan Ross over for a try after the fullback drew in two defenders. Seo converted for an 18-12 lead with three minutes remaining. It was the Knights' first win at Manly's home ground since 2006. Manly now play the Sydney Roosters at Allianz Stadium on Sunday, May 6, at 4.10 p.m.